Welcome back everyone. Dennis O'Neill of Wings is here today. He's going to be talking about Wings and forecast markets for promoting and predicting ICO success. Welcome. Awesome. Awesome. All right. <laughs> I got to tell you, I, I, I share your enthusiasm. I am so excited about this conference being here in Dallas. Uh, among other things, we'll, just real quickly, I also run DisruptHub.io, which is a democratized online community here in Dallas. And it's, uh, it is a vibrant community, and it's really exciting to see it growing like it is. So what we're going to do today, though, is we're going to talk about wings. Uh, I'm actually filling in for Dominic. Dominic is a co-founder of wings, and him, Stas, Sebastian... Uh, I don't know any other group that knows more about ICOs globally than that group. And it's, it's really exciting for me to actually have an opportunity to, to step in for them. Uh, I am actually a community member, though. I go back with uh, Wings during their pre-ICO days in uh, 2016, helping them through that. And I followed them all the way through and, and done really well with them lately, too. Uh, so I do want to see, though, a uh, show of hands, who is currently on Wings? Who might own Wings and actually uses it? Okay, all right. So what Wings is, is it's a forecast platform for ICOs, uh, let's say DAO projects, because the word ICO becomes kind of like, well, there are other things besides ICOs. Uh, and this IC is a, was a natural progression in this ecosystem that we have, this, this evolutionary process for this ecosystem that we have in cryptocurrency. Because if you take a look at its history, you've got uh, Bitcoin being the MVP, the first application on blockchain. That's really what it was, you know. And, but the, the gem was blockchain. And then we see platforms after that. We saw Ethereum coming out. Uh, for instance, uh, smart contract programming capabilities and uh, continuing on with that. And, and then you see after that some user friendliness uh, in terms of user interfaces, uh, business applications, disrupting supply chains. See, it's an evolutionary process that we're moving through. Wings was ahead of it, was ahead of the curve. So back in 2016, they started to develop this, uh, this platform by which to actually forecast and, and, and really to help both the ICO investor and the company doing the ICO uh, to get past all of the noise. I don't know if you know this, but we're doing about, two, the number I've heard, about 200 ICOs a month. 200, I th uh, you know, when you, when you have your friends telling you, what did you hear about, and you didn't hear about it, and you feel kind of bad because you didn't hear about it, don't feel bad, because there are so many new ICOs coming out, and, and Wings really helps us to, to get through all of that. And I will talk about that in a little bit more detail. But, uh, but again, Dominic, uh, he was the actually one of the founders for Master Chain, which was one of the very first ICOs. So that is also what enthused me about becoming involved with Wings as an investor, uh, because it is very important to see that kind of uh, knowledge and understanding of an industry at the CEO level, at the founder's level. And that's what we see at Wings. So we will talk about that, but... Uh, I want to also talk a little bit about who this really helps. As I was saying before, there is a lot of noise here. It's a matter of, you know, what's growing, who to trust. And, and let's take myself, for instance. I don't like to talk about myself a lot, but it makes sense at this point. So I'm an investor in ICOs. I'm not a whale. I'm an average guy that decided that I wanted to invest in the future, okay, rather than investing in the establishment past. And so I've gone into the ICOs about two, three years ago, and, and, I, and I'm all in. But I'm that average guy, as probably you all are as well. I'm also uh, an entrepreneur. I run a cloud-based messaging service called email 
I'm considering tokenizing that, okay? Taking that to an ICL. Well, this is where Wings come in, comes in. Wings comes in to help us to do both, to uh, provide us as an investor an ability to get past the noise, but also as an entrepreneur that says, hey, how can I take my company through an ICL? And where can I get some exposure in, in that? Because I'll tell you, I, I also uh, provide some assistance to other entrepreneurs on this subject uh, as an ICO advisor. And there is an initial consideration that to do an ICO is a cheap and easy way to crowdfund your, your next idea. It's not cheap and it's not easy. So <laughs> it, it is really... A, a beating. I, I, I want to see an, uh, a CEO that did an ICO that says, I want to do another one. So, <laughs> so um, let's take a look at what Wings actually does provide. If you get on wings.ai, you will see a dashboard and you will be able to pick out then information on any one of these ICOs. You click on any one of these uh, down here to get more information and you get very concise, terrific information about that particular ICO. Now, at the top, there might be also that the ICO is live. How this works from an entrepreneur's level, so let's say I want to do an ICO. What I would do is I would go to Wings and I would put my I would fill out the, the proper paperwork and about several, well, I would get onto their dashboard several weeks before my ICO went off. And what I do is I would say, I want you to ask the community, the Wings community, w this, a particular question. <coughs> like, for instance, uh, you know, how much am I going to raise? And because I think I can do 30 million, but does your community think I can do 30 million? This is the community that's on Wings is a very intelligent community. It is, these people know ICOs. So they will then respond. And how they do it, and now me as, a, as a, a participant, a member of Wings, what I do is I, I make sure I have Wings. So you, have to, you, you get those Wings from an exchange, however. You move them into Wings.ai, and then... You say, uh, I'm going to take X number of my wings, and I'm going to lock them down, and I'm going to say that this, uh, it's a tough market. I think they're not going to do more than $20 million. And then I also give comments. So me, as, a, as an individual that invests in ICOs quite often, I'm providing some very valuable input to this company that wants to do this ICO. And we will see that these ICOs will go, holy cow, the Wings uh, community has said, I'm not going to make $35 million. I'm going to back off my, my max or my minimum and, and make these alterations, uh, just as an example, but I mean others as well, other changes. So, so that will occur. Now what happens is that my Wings are locked just for that period of time of a, you know, it's generally a couple of weeks that all of the Wings community is giving their forecast about this ICL. And then at the end of the forecast, when, it, when it's completed, I get my Wings back. Didn't cost me anything. Cost a little in ether to move it around. But didn't cost me anything in terms of Wings. And then their ICO goes off. If I did good on my forecast compared to everybody else in the community, then I get their coin. So as an example, these are, these are some examples. These are early ones, uh, but I have these. <laughs> so I did pretty well on these forecasts. So I got Bancor's coin because I forecasted it on wings. Same thing with AdX, fantastic, very, very good, disrupting the advertising, uh, CoinDash as well. So these coins come from the ICO company, okay, the, the organization, the DAO, actually through smart contracts, uh, comes into my, my Ether wallet actually, uh, comes in because they're all ERC20 coins. So 
the advantage is, is to participate in WINGS as an ICO investor, and, and if you want to do an ICO, contact WINGS, get on their dashboard, and use the community that supports WINGS to help you do a good ICO and to be successful at it. Now, where we are, by the way, with WINGS is uh, just sitting there at a pre-beta. Uh, if you read their white paper, it goes much deeper to, than that. Uh, it, it will probably go to the level of uh, developing your own ICL just through uh, artificial intelligence, through, this, uh, through WINGS itself. So that's how that's uh, going to go. And, they, and we can see that uh, WINGS has done really well. The Bancor raised 397,000 Ether, or, uh, K uh, wings, the community they uh, they provided 18k uh, down here on uh, Coin Dash 39,000 dollars or 39,000 was raised. Wings uh, the wings participants got 22.4 thousand. It, it it really can be quite lucrative, actually to to work with wings. So this is just an idea of where they are. They're, they're in pre-beta now, and the, the process was, just as I explained, that the wings are locked, there's a relative time, that's it. As we get now into beta, and that would be on testnet.wings.ai, I believe. And this is where forecast rating gets added in. So that's where, uh, you see, wings' idea is that it shouldn't matter how much money you have in terms of your influence. It should be how good you are. So the fa forecast rating is not really, did I uh, invest 100,000 wings and I did pretty good. It's a matter of, did I do well and then I can get a forecast rating and other people can then start to use my, uh, that actually helps me in my forecasting in getting m more return. And, uh, and later on, there can be liquid democracy where you can start to, to use other forecasters because they're really good at it instead of you doing all the research. And then as we go further on, uh, they're going to also add um, reputa uh, uh, hang on, promotional rating. Promotional rating, and that's to say that, hey, did somebody actually help this ICO be successful? Uh, so, so we're going to continue to see Wings build out. So Wings will continue to build out in its capability. Are there any questions about that? Yes. Hi. Yes. Uh, I'm an active investor in ICO. Oh, yes. So we have been seeing this 2017 that the, the real good ones ICOs when when reach to Wings platform or anyone any other they already presented or prefounded or whitelisted or any a lot of reasons that is already very hard to get in, in the ICO. How how wings we going to attack this this situation in the really good ICOs that are coming? Well, I think that that's a very good question. The question is related to the fact that we are seeing a nat natural progression here. I can uh, maybe add to your point that when, if I were to do an ICO in uh, 20, 20, early 2017, sort of what you're saying, uh, I might do 20% uh, pre-sale, 80% you know, public ICO. That's starting to move like 40, 60... 60, 40, and all that. And as your point is, is that um, it's maybe getting more difficult as a smaller investor to be able to participate in these ICOs. Is that right? Not, not only as a smaller or a bigger, it's, it's, because it's, it's about the, to reach the information. Because where we can reach, if I have the money, for example, and I have, I have big money investor, how I can reach that project in, in, in that initial stage? 
Right. I, I agree with you, and I, I don't know if I have an answer for that, and I'm not sure if Wings has a complete you know, strategy to actually apply to that. But I can tell you that if you were to buy Wings with your investment and then forecast on that particular ICO that was listed in Wings, you would get their coin. And that is really valuable. I mean, because, I, you know, I got CoinDash, Serin Labs. Yeah, so, well, not Serin Labs yet, but um, they're, they're kind of rolling out. But I've gotten some really nice coins that uh, are a little bit harder to get, and they are getting harder. So I think Wings helps in that area. Yes, sir? I think I can. Yay. <laughs> Well, the, uh, the reason there's only 49 is only 49 were good. Okay, yeah, but this, this, so this gets to the point. Yeah, because you can invest, you can invest in, uh, in, in your uh, project and, and not do a very good job and be outside that bracket. So the, you the could staking, just get your wings back. represents what, what, I guess you would say, what proportion of the total amount that might be given to the team that had the best, by team, it's like the, the best predictors. Predictors. Mm -hmm. And because I stake, let's just say I stake 25% of the total amount that of all those people, then I deserve 20, you know, a, a quarter of the money that would be paid out to that pool. Is that how the staking works? Uh, in 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 basic terms, I don't think I would be right to go through that whole. That there are some there are some whales. I mean, because you can actually see that in wings, and you can see that some some people have a lot of wings, and and they're going to invest. Now, if they're off, they're off, and that can happen. Generally, they're very good, actually. The whales have a tendency to know what they're doing. They get a big chunk. So the they get a big chunk of the, the ICO company. Maybe I didn't explain this, and, and it might not be pertinent, but the ICO, the, the company doing the ICO says, I'm going to take 2.5% of my total token allocation, and I'm going to let you, Wings, distribute that through your algorithm to the people doing the forecast. That's how that works. Okay. Yes, sir. Where do we get wings? On wings? Uh, I, I, I can buy it on Binx, right, and Bittrex and that. Mm -hmm. So uh, basic question is, so what are you trying to forecast and what do you mean by wings? What you're trying to forecast, you always have a question. At the early, the, we're at pre-beta, okay, so at least at this stage. And you'll see that when you, try, when you go on to Wings.ai, it is very slow. So you, but, you know, we all are patient, right? <laughs> because this is, uh, but it, it runs very slow, and it has this basic question. And that question is generally, this is how much I think, I, you know, or, or how much do you think I'm going to raise with my pre-sale and uh, public ICO in total? It's generally the question, but sometimes the questions are different. Um, I did pretty well on these. I didn't do so good on CoinDash. <laughs> no, it really is. No, but that, that really is it. I mean, when you, um, when, so you actually, I don't have the screen. I don't have a copy of the screen. But it basically says, uh, how many uh, wings do you want to allocate to this prediction, this forecast? I shouldn't say prediction. To this forecast. And then the question is provided by the company. And that question for Bancor, I think, was, Best of my knowledge, how, you know, uh, how many ether do you think I'm going to raise? Well, I did a lot of research on Bancor. I, I, this isn't willy nilly. I do a lot of work on these, uh, so I did a lot of work on Bancor and uh, and saw the market that they were in and what their hard cap was. It's very important. So, how much do you think you're going to do? And uh, and I came up with an answer for that. With it, it was a, a value. It was an amount, a number. And then I put in my own comments. It's uh, you, you, uh, you, you provide a number, and that becomes public, but nobody knows it's you that did it, right? But it, it's all listed, and there's a comment. Not too big, maybe 200 characters, so not, not a long, a couple of sentences, and you give a, you give a comment. Sometimes I'll say, uh, um, market's going to go, 
going to go down. Sometimes the question is, how many U.S. dollars am I going to raise? Well, if everybody's contributing Ether, I literally go through my own forecast in my mind as to what I think Ether is going to be on March 15th and, and, and answer it that way. And I will put that in, the, in as the comment. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Correct. Uh, they give you really good information in a very specific way on wings. So when you click on that uh, icon to, to evaluate it, uh, it comes back in a very structured way, which I really like because not, you, know, I'm, you do it over and over again. And, uh, and it's coming from the, them, so you go through their, uh, their video and so on, and, uh, and it's all right there. But then it's up to you if you want to go to their website, and, you know, and I do. I go to their Telegram. I, I go over to LinkedIn. I want to see, <laughs> I want to see if the people working on the blockchain list this project on their LinkedIn profile. They don't. Yeah, sometimes they don't. I'm like, are, oh, really? So you're really working on this? Are you not proud of it? <laughs> why don't? Why isn't there? So I, I really go do my due diligence, and I do pretty well on the forecast. Yes, uh, this question and that. Yes. No, to, uh, I actually don't, I don't know of that ever changing. What will, what will um, it doesn't change, but what will, will be added is as a person, a company wanting to do an ICO, that will probably cost me something to go in and have Wings do the whole thing for me through artificial intelligence. So, um, uh, but no, I don't know of that ever changing. So you get your money, it, that's not probably a beta issue. You get your wings back. Yes, sir. No, you're using wings to do a forecast on an ICO. That ICO said, I want wings community to forecast on my ICO whether I'm going to do well or not, whatever the question is. And you as an investor do a forecast as to whether you, you what they're going to do. Yes. So restating it, when, people, when companies traditionally do a, a, an IPO, mm -hmm. Lead Bank does a road show where they go and they mm. talk to institutional investors and say, what do you think we should price this at? How many shares could you actually sell? How many do you want, et cetera? And they use that to form a price. What this platform is doing is doing the equivalent for ICOs amongst the business. It's the roadshow online. I like that. I like that. That I've actually never thought of it that way. That's perfect. Yes, sir. Um, the people that invest, the, so if you're talking about it from the perspective of the forecaster, the forecaster only locked their wings, so they get their wings back. Now, if, if everything goes down and doesn't happen, then you never get their coin because their coin was never created. In this case of Bancor, for instance, I forecasted on Bancor, I got Bancor coin because I did well in my forecast. Yes. They will continue. This is their white paper. They're sticking to it. I mean, when they did their uh, uh, um, ICO, that actually closed in January of 2017, if I if I recollect correctly, uh, that white paper has been the, still the same one, and they are continuing on with their business plan. I don't particularly see that happening myself, but uh, you know, you know, I don't know. 
but, but Wings continues to, to advance in its um, roadmap that it put out on that, um, on that white paper. Yes, sir. No, you're not investing in the ICO. No, you're only forecasting the success of this ICO, and Wings is telling that ICO that if you did well, that ICO company needs to give you their coins. Yes? Can you define what you mean by doing well? What, what, what is the range? Is it 10% on a, you know what I mean? It actually, uh, it, it's a complex algorithm, and I can't answer that question. And uh, it, right, because I, I haven't, I have not been able to nail it <laughs> myself. But I mean, I know. I mean, it Wings tells you, hey, if you're in outside this range, you aren't getting anything. You got this range, then you're good to go. All right. Well, listen, I do have to I'll check your question afterward. I appreciate that. And I just got the you know from the man here. So I'm going to pass. And I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks, Dennis.